Greetings, everybody. It's Patty here. How's everybody today? I hope you're all staying warm. This this article comes from Blacklisted News. DARPA, Santa, continue to ho ho holiday team up. December twenty second, two thousand and seventeen. Ho ho ho. Apparently, Santa is working with DARPA, and they, alongside NORAD, will make sure that Santa isn't shot down by those pesky ISIS bad guys using CIA-supplied weapons and steers clear of those Russian MiGs. <laughs> DARPA's high-speed optimized handling of holiday operations, Ho Ho Ho, initiative is celebrating its fourth anniversary this year, and the agency is proud to continue its tradition of sharing breakthrough technologies to help Santa Claus and his elves more quickly and efficiently complete their holiday duties. This year, Santa and his North Pole crew have been granted special access to research tools from the following DARPA programs. <laughs> okay. Wear wearable prototype technologies from the targeted neuroplasticity training program TNT to help Santa more quickly and effectively prepare for his big night. TNT seeks to identify safe, non-invasive methods of stimulating the peripheral nervous system to accelerate the acquisition of cognitive skills. Santa, bless his heart, is field testing technology designed to help him learn faster and remember better across a range of skills. From memorizing his naughty and nice lists to remembering where he packs each item in his sack. Because when you have to deliver gifts to more than a billion children in 24 hours, every second counts. So, DARPA to the rescue. Wow. Computer-based simulations from the Ground Truth Program to ensure accuracy of the naughty and nice lists. <laughs> Ground Truth aims to assist military planners and decision makers by improving the accuracy of social science models and predict cause and effects effect in complex human social behaviors and systems. Chris Prangle is testing the programs initial research against his own substantial data and experience in knowing who's been bad or good and using it to refine his closely held methods for sorting people onto the appropriate list. A revolutionary extremely high frequency EHF sensor from the Video Synthetic Aperture Radar VSAR program to help Santa see through fog, snow, and other obscuring weather. VSAR's goal is to provide high-resolution, full-motion video of, the, of moving ground targets through clouds and other opaque weather conditions as effectively as traditional electro-optical and infrared sensors operate in clear skies. The flight-tested prototype is in a movable gimbal that can be mounted on a variety of aerial platforms, including sleighs. DARPA is committed to helping Santa always see where he's going and supports Rudolph's right to request a well-earned night off. Well, we gotta love those DARPA guys, don't we? <laughs> Initial research from the Atomic Magna Magnetometer for Biological Imaging in Earth's Native Terrain, OK, Ambient Program, to improve Santa's ability to know if children are sleeping or awake. Ambient aims to pave the way toward practical handheld sensor systems that measure the infinitesimally small magnetic fields generated by electrophysiological activity in biological organisms. 
Such systems could conceivably enable fast, non-invasive detection and scanning of neurological and other bodily activities. Santa is consulting with DARPA scientists and engineers to augment ways he can stay out of sight and enjoy his milk and cookies in peace. <laughs> A prototype mobile application from the Warfighter Analytics using smartphones for help, otherwise known as the WASH program, to help identify potential health issues before they interfere with toy delivery. <laughs> The Warfighter Analytics Using Smartphones for Health program seeks to use existing cell phone sensors to collect physiological data for identifying both known indicators of physiological problems such as disease, illness, and or injury, and deviations from microbehaviors that could indicate such problems. Like many of us, Santa brings his cell phone wherever he goes and the application could alert St. Nick when to rest or take other measures to stay in peak condition while making his global rounds. And finally, DARPA is continuing its work with the U U.S. Air Force North American Aerospace Defense Command, NORAD, NORAD, okay? <laughs> to track Santa's flight path on Christmas Eve. One program that could help with this important task in the future is Hallmark. <laughs> Which is working with space operators to design and develop systems to improve the speed and effectiveness of commanders responsible for protecting increasingly critical on-orbit assets. A few such assets are as important at this time of year as Santa and his sleigh full of holiday cheer. Santa and his helpers are essential partners in America's technology innovation ecosystem, not just for their centuries of inventiveness, but also for the happiness they bring to service members, veterans, and their families each year, said an agency spokesperson, speaking from DARPA's undisclosed northernmost workshop. DARPA is proud to continue its work with St. Nick on our common mission to make the world a better place by dreaming big and redefining what's possible. There you have it. Santa Claus is colluding with DARPA. Ho, ho, ho. Happy holiday. Thanks for watching, and happy winter solstice. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs>